Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel, CLA. Uh, my name is Keith Nguyen. Glad to have you on this adventure. So today I'm here in Tomales Bay, beginning of the new year. So happy new year for everybody. Uh, wishing you guys the best for the new year. And if I don't know you and all the people that I do know you, doesn't matter. I wish you guys the best for the new year. Today we're going to go fishing for crabs in Tomales Bay. It's been off and on, but some days have been really hot and some days it's been not as hot. But today we're going to give it a shot and we're going to see how everything looks like in the new year. Uh, the topic today is going to be finding your happiness in 2024. And I'm going to go over a few things really worked for me. I've been, you know, seeking my own happiness over many, many years and all the hard lessons I've had to learn. So I'm going to share some of those things that I've, uh, I've learned throughout the years with you guys here. Let's have that topic out in the water. So just drop all the pots and let them soak for a little bit. Uh, I want to continue this conversation about, you know, finding your happiness and, and safeguarding it in 2024. I'm not intending this video to be preaching to anybody about how to live their life or should do than this and all that stuff. It's not anything about that. It's just about, you know, how I've, I've come to find my own happiness in life and, and, and the lessons I've learned. And aren't we all just kind of seeking our own happiness? Okay, so the first thing is, you know, you really should stop comparing, comparing one thing to another. And and I watch a lot of great people, you know, um, some of the, you know, athletes I think are really great. It's Kobe Bryant, uh, Tom Brady, um, Novak Djokovic. And, and as I watch these guys, you know, one of the things I've learned and I've listened to them consistently time and time again is they don't compare themselves to anybody. You know, and they always say that I don't compare myself to, you know, the the guys in the past or the guys they're playing with currently and right now. The only person they compare themselves to is themselves. And are they better than they were the day before? And are and every day they work out and every day they practice, are they better than, than who they were before? Everything you see in the media is constantly telling you to, you know, if you make if you make a hundred thousand or if you make two hundred thousand you will be happy you know you will have the sense of security you have all these things right and all that is is just it constantly makes us think that hey i have to compare myself to the guy that makes a hundred thousand dollars then i'll be happy it's this if then statement that that is just pervasive in, in our society today that just saps our, our our ability to be happy and that's just something you just got to just say, you know what, that's enough is enough. I don't care what the guy before me makes. I don't care. You know, I'm not trying to keep up with the Joneses. I don't care what the hell the media says. I don't care about any of that. I'm just going to compare myself to me. How did I do the day before that? Am I doing better than I am the day before that? And when I think about that in that particular way, 
I've been happy all my life. All right, let's see where I stand with some of this pool here. Okay, possibly one here, possibly one. This one does seem a little small. Legal. Round it up. That's it. All right. The only reason I share this video with you guys is because I want everybody, you know, to find their own happiness and and live in their own authentic self. But nowadays, I just see there's just so much manipulation, you know, through big companies, corporations. Um, our government i mean i don't want to get into politics and all that stuff but there's just so much manipulation going on people you know forget how to live authentically and just find their own happiness believe it or not attention is your most valuable resource and everybody's just trying to get a piece of your attention you know you got to save your attention and your time because those are the two most important things that you can have in this world is your attention and your time you can never never get any of those back someone's just treating you bad whatever it is drop them like a hot potato drop them like a hot rock and give your time to only the people that matter to you give your time to people that are willing to give your time to you don't spend time with people who are are are, are time wasters right there's a lot of people in this world that are time wasters man and i just i i drop them like a hot potato there ain't no name I, I don't need to deal with any of that all right, second pull. Gauge Buster. Come on, Gauge Buster. Uh, got some possible. Oh, very small. A lot of small ones in here. But I think I might have a legal. At least one legal. No. Damn it, man. All right, let's keep moving. Keep looking. <sighs> oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. So I think the second key to unlocking, you know, and guarding your own happiness is this idea of self-validation. This, this, this word validation is such a, a loaded word. A whole industry of social media is based on this idea of validation. It's billions and trillions of dollars based on this idea that we all need to be liked. Okay? Now, here's the problem with that, how it saps away your happiness. If you are seeking happiness from other people, from likes, from shares, from all these, you know, then you'll always be a prisoner to that. And that sucks away your ability to be authentic. And I can't, I can't stress that enough about this idea of being authentic because society today, everything you see on Instagram, it's not even real. You know, it, it teaches us to to be inauthentic and to sell our own happiness and sell our own self validation for the validation of others. And that is so 
it's like having chains on you that you're always living for how others perceive you and how others see you years ago i've learned how to self-validate myself and love myself and don't ever sell yourself out find your own authenticity in yourself it's been the greatest bunch of small crabs today So this one has had time to soak. I feel like it's, it has a little bit more weight to it. Maybe, maybe this one. The rest of them are all small. They ate all my chicken too. So that's that. That's legal. One out of that pool. A lot of seaweed. Nope. Small crabs. All small crabs. Not good. So the general rule of thumb at Tomala's Bay is small, small, small gauge buster, all right? So this is a gauge buster. I don't say gauge buster, but it's definitely well over. <laughs> that's like five and three quarters. Look at that. That's like five and three quarters, like well over two inches past that. So it is what it is. Keep going. Keep hand wringing it out. Always looking to give like one or two of these per, per set, and that would usually do it for the rest of the day. The last thing in terms of happiness and guarding your happiness is learning to distance yourself away from very toxic people. And it's, it's easier said than done is because toxic people, I mean, the real toxic people are really easy to find out, right? Because those types of people, everyone hates them. And there's a reason why. Because, you know, they're always putting people down. You know, this guy is all about himself. He's a narcissist. He's He's, you know, he's, he's about just, just everything's about him, right? And if, if he can't get anything from you in terms of either psychological validation or anything like that, or money or, or financial gain or any type of gain, you know, he's not going to be there, right? And when you need him or her there, they just gone because that means they have to put out something for you. Those types of people, they always got to be in control. Right? You can't ever be in control. They have to be the one in control. Imagine how fast you can run if you didn't have a 10 pound weight on your ankle, a 20 pound weight around your waist, constantly holding you down, trying to find a way to pull you down. Right? Um, and, and if you remove yourself away from toxic people, you all, you'll automatically see that your happiness will rise. You know, as I begin to get older and older, I start to have less and less friends. And I'm very, and I'm very guarded about who I spend my time with. It's because I've, I've had to learn that lesson the hard way, is that I have to guard my own happiness from people. I have to guard my own mental well-being against people. Because um, some of the people who are toxic, they don't know they're toxic. So you need to guard yourself against that pick and choose your friends very carefully it makes all the difference um, i've gotten like four five crabs so far i got that one jumbo i got like a six and a bunch of like five and three quarters or so um, i'm looking for probably about five more uh i'm i'm really looking for those big jumbos man like those are like amazing and you can find them once or two here if i get like four of those big jumbos i consider that a big success for today <sighs> Nothing. Well, tide is not your friend at this point. <laughs> so that's the end of the video. Uh, hope you guys had fun on this trip. 
it's always fun uh, making these videos for you. So the end count today was like seven cram, like one jumbo and like a bunch of, you know, sport size and like one, two, sixes. Nothing to write home about, you know. Uh, definitely the fishing was hot here a few weeks ago when everyone was getting like, you know, jumbo sizes. And that was pretty, pretty nice, but clearly it's been either either picked out or you know you gotta you gotta get a little bit more selective at this point. I hope uh, some of the things that I said today you know can resonate with some of you guys once again it's not here to I'm not here to preach to anybody like that I'm just saying that you know things that I've learned over the years and that has helped my own happiness and so uh, I'll catch you guys next time on another episode of Chile. If you guys enjoy these videos make sure to share like and subscribe like it says with the